well, 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 everybody, from the title, you can tell that today we're here to cover yet another Echo Arena remake, this time by the name of Rebounders. Two days ago, I came across this message in the Reverb Arena Discord from Adabred stating that his Echo remake, Rebounders, was further ahead than everyone else's remakes, and me reporting on so many of these other remakes, I knew I just had to get in it, make a recording, and tell you all how I feel about it, and whether that statement is really true if it is further along than all the others in its development. Overall, I feel like it is further developed than some, but it's definitely not further developed than all. Playing around in it, it definitely works like Echo works. It's a zero gravity environment. There is an arena, it's red and blue base, there's geos, there's goals, there's goal explosions, which I do like. But there are things in the game and things not in the game that make it not further along developed than all the other alternatives. Standing to this point, I still feel as though Circuit Lord's Reverb Arena maintains the best feel of any remake out there currently, just because, well, it feels the most like Echo. Its throwing feels the most like it, the movement feels the most like it. I feel like although Rebounders has a movement si system very similar to Echo Arena, I do not feel like it tops out Reverb Arena's feel at all. And graphically, I do think that, you know, the goal explosion is definitely something that is, that should be just explored more through the other remakes, and I think it's a good move, but the arena, the geos, the designs are very simplistic. There is no specialized design to it. The goal design is, you know, just the base diamond. There's no special design really happening within the arena, as opposed to Hex, who have built a full arena that is fully customized, very unique, unique color schemes, unique pretty much everything to Hex. Granted, still inspired by Echo, but their arena is very built out and very unique, and Hex tops them out in the arena and graphics area. I don't really have many comments towards the disc, because, I mean, a disc works as a disc. It's, you know, the same thing no matter what. It's a disc works as a disc, because in Rebounders, as you can see in this footage here, it's a disc very similar to Echo Arena's, and I, I mean, it's developed, but, I mean, it's not further developed than any other disc that's currently out there, as every single one is, you know, a disc or a puck shape, so... Nah, you can't really claim mine is further along than anyone else's. And sound-wise, I'm just disappointed. Everything is too loud and too in my ears. The hissing of the boosters is just horribly obnoxious. I had to play my game at near minimum volume because I just didn't want to deal with that level of noise. The primary booster, its sound I also find just to be obnoxious, especially when, you know, it's out of uses. That noise is horrible to deal with, and that's actually another issue I would like to touch on. The primary boosters in Echo Arena, it has, whatever, two, three uses at a time, and then you get put on a cooldown. For rebounders, you have, you know, that same logic, except if you're already traveling at max speed, it will not let you use the main boosters again, which I don't like. Maybe they're going this way on purpose, but... A good use of the primary booster in Echo Arena was, you know, you're moving max speed. It's a good way to redirect yourself strongly in one way in addition to your hand boosters. You can't do that in rebounders, and that's... It takes away from a lot of the movement because I can't reliably change my direction when moving at max speed without fully stopping myself or losing an immense amount of my momentum. I will say though, there is at least a seemingly functioning multiplayer. During this playtest I had, I did have someone else come in, though I have no idea who they were. They were just in for a couple minutes. I think it was one of the developers working on some server issues. So there are currently a few issues within the servers, but they are working to get those fixed. And at least based on that interaction, it does work in some degree. And you can't see it in the playtest, but there are models I will show 
a picture now. And those, you know, they do look pretty decent. They are further along than the models I have seen for Hex, for Reverb, for Lucid slash Echo Replay. And, you know, those are further developed, though. I know Hex is working on putting out their newer models now with ARMS. I haven't been able to get in there to see it yet, but I will I will give you that, Rebounders. You definitely have the player models on these other remakes so far. Other than that, for the actual feel of the game, the throwing, the pushing, you know, everything that deals with arms and their movement, I, the tracking seems fine. Nothing is out of the ordinary there. Everything feels fine when you're holding the disc. I will say, though, it... I don't like the way that the throwing itself feels. It feels very flick heavy, very wrist dependent. I am not a player who throws like that. I am a full arm user. I typically throw as if I'm throwing a baseball or throwing some kind of ball. And having so much reliance in the wrist nearly completely screws my throwing style. I have to hold my wrist very very still in order to throw accurately because I don't want to go like that I just want to throw but because I'm going like this it's detecting my wrist going down and it'll chuck it straight down instead of straight forward the way my arm is moving so is rebounders holding true their statement that they're the furthest developed than any other remake no they're they're not the furthest along in development it's I feel like that's pretty clear because Graphically, they're not there. They have many features that are not in the other remakes, but are they further ahead in certain aspects? Yes, they are. They have player models that these other ones don't have. They have a more fleshed out arena than Reverb. They actually have a game compared to Lucid. But overall, the feel of the game and the arena present in the game, I feel like are not as far developed as these other ones. I get it if this is just a beta arena, but if this is your final arena, I feel like it's just very... There isn't much to it. The arena needs to be bigger if you're looking for a game that's going to be, you know, the 4v4, the 3v3, the 5v5 that some people are requesting, and this arena just won't compensate for that. Meanwhile, you look at Hex, and it could definitely compensate for that in the size of its arena. But overall, I do think they're definitely on the right track towards getting towards a very well-developed game whether they will overtake hex or any of these other remakes in the time being i don't know that all comes down to their working speed their efficiency making sure their game doesn't break blah 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 blah, blah. but they're definitely on the right track they're definitely working towards making a good working game that people could enjoy i did enjoy floating around in their arena and messing around with the disc and stuff and having a good time but it's just not the furthest developed along yet so we'll see given time they could definitely overtake all the rest and become the furthest developed along so we'll see once they're there